Over now, the team news is in today. And the big news, Kyle Flanagan named in the number seven jersey to take on the Penrith right. Panthers for the first time in a long time. Didn't get a start in the trials. Well, he got a start, but not in the halves position. And he gets his first crack against the Premiership leaders. Thoughts? It's like getting a hand grenade for your birthday. Okay. Let's be honest. <laughs> like, he, this is a guy that hasn't played for a lot of first grade last year, but beyond that, has not really been welcomed as part of the club for some time, has not trained all year with the, the first grade side, and here he is finally getting picked at number seven, and he's been putting it up against the Premiers. The week they play the, the best team in the competition, it, to me, it's like a poison chalice. Yeah, I feel sorry for him because he's worked hard and he, he deserves a shot to play in the halves. He's been hammered pillar to post. His confidence has been battered. He, they didn't give him a second. Spot on. Let alone a minute with Burton in the trials. They get to round five, round five, and they play the Premiership heavyweights. Best team in the competition right now by a long way. And they go, here you go, buddy. And, and, and a team, and a team can do. that have <coughs> taken great <coughs> pleasure in humiliating Kyle in the past. Like... His own club has humiliated him all off-season. He didn't get a go. He sat there on the sidelines. Everyone knew he just wasn't in their plans. They get beaten, what was it, 44-0 last weekend against the Storm. They line up against the Pan Panthers. And you've got to call it for what it is. It's a disgrace. Like, where's the duty of care? Where is the yeah. duty of care? So he, get, he gets his chance, guys, on the back of leading the Bulldogs New South Wales Cup side to the top of the ladder. They haven't lost a game. Reserve grade. They told, said to Cole, go back and find your, find your happiness, find your, find your rhythm and enjoy your footy again. They're leading the competition. Cole's now scored more points than the actual NRL team. Mm. And now he gets the call up against, as you said, the, the Premiers. Do you know who they play the following week? The grand finalists, South Sydney. Yeah. It's a tough call. Not only that too, the other part too is, we, and we see this every week where... Teams don't announce their intentions, so they'll pick the, the, the one to seven and one to twenty-one on on Tuesday. By the time they get an hour before the game, they're whittling it down. And then finally, you hear an hour before the game that the guy who's wearing number eighteen jersey yeah. is now going to start the game. Yeah. But they've put him out in the number seven, so that Brendan Wakem's been put back to the bench. Mm -hmm. Cole's been brought into number seven, so it's now going to be talked about all week. It's yeah. not even like he's he just you know it's suddenly that's appeared very true. in number That's nineteen. Very true. And then an hour before the game, they said, well, you know what, we're going to spring a surprise at That's a good point. They, so could, they could have named him in the, in the squad. They haven't protected yeah. him for the rest of this week. Yeah. Which oh, is I, what they're always so big on. It's, it's fair and point. And you talk about, your, you talk about duty of care. That's exactly where they've been derelict in this instance. I just think, you know, I got asked at the start of the year, who should they play at seven? And, yeah. and because Flanagan hasn't been in the mix, they didn't even bring his name up. But I said Flanagan because Avril is not a genuine number seven, and, and Flano is. And... and Burton hasn't played in the halves for a long period of time, so running a team is always going to be hard for him coming from the centres at Penrith. But they didn't even explore that. They didn't even give that an opportunity he until now. Train there, Bray. That's the thing. Is if he should if have been he, there all off season. If he's been training there all off season and all through the preseason, if he'd been training there and through the first five weeks, you would understand what they've done. He's not passed the ball to Matt Burton. Yeah. What's, what's also concerning is Brandon Wakeham was promoted after Averillo. So this is the third halfback in five rounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, to start a season, you're already on to halfback number three. Uh, Brandon Wakeham got the run last, last week. He drops out and, and he's off contract at the club. He's off contract. Kyle isn't. Mm -hmm. We know Kyle's on contract. So you're giving the guy that's off contract the opportunity to prove himself. First crack. First crack. Mm. I just found that odd, completely odd. And further to what you said too, like they've had three halfbacks now in coming into five rounds, and yet they went the whole summer without giving Flanagan a go. Mm. The whole yeah. summer. What's he going to do there, Brace? Do you think? As like the reality is now, okay, he's now picked at number seven. He'll play at number seven. What is Trent Barrett trying to get out of him? And how much can he fix this Canterbury side that you know, like? Mitch Moses scored more points in Canterbury this year. Yeah, listen, the problem last week with <coughs> Melbourne was that they just double-teamed Burton because they've got Dufty who swings around to that right-hand side every now and then, but not too often and isn't that much of a threat to, a, to the top team. So they're just putting two or three players on Burton at any given time. Wakeham didn't do enough or take enough ownership or responsibility to take pressure off Burton. And now they're putting young Cole in there. Listen, I hope he kills it. I really do. I hope he surprises 
everyone and goes out there and has his best performance of his career. I really do. But the issue but it's, is, it's just, it's the issue is they're playing Penrith, and let's remember last year when they played Penrith and Luai yeah. in particular yeah. targeted him, and because it was a bash up, it was twelve. You know, 13 players, Penrith getting into, yeah, yeah. here we go, here. Yeah. And, and, and they, they made it personal with him. And this is a guy that's already on the, you know, he'd already copped a few kicks in the guts. Mm. Now, I don't know what's going to happen this week. And obviously, well, fighting against Gordon Wayne, he's rejuvenated. Yeah. yeah. That, that, but they'll be coming again for well, him. Well, they he's got kick out. They, did it, they well. did it the previous season, too, in the limb. In, uh, was it the qualifying final? Final, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I must say, Kenny, talking to Kyle after a reserve grade game about two weeks ago, you're right, the word is rejuvenated. Mm. He seemed quite happy and mm. quite content in his performance. His confidence is back. So, look, hopefully, you know, he's been thrown to the wolves yeah. to a degree here, but hopefully he, he has found that confidence. I, I think we need to be sort of moth too. This is not a... It's more a bash-up on Canterbury than it is yeah. on oh, Everyone wants to see no, this the kid about, go well. Yeah, this I know. I just wanted to, be, right now, I just wanted to make that clear. We, we, we just clearly, all of us, think that... There's, there is a duty of care, and it's not. I, I just think it's. Can he fast track it? Can he, having done no work with Burton, having done no oh, it's, it's training good. with this first grade squad the entire summer, can he come in and in, in, in one week fast track himself? Is it, is it that easy? I'd love to, to do? say yes, but I, you know what I, my thoughts are. Mm. Well, no. we've seen we've seen how teams go with lack of uh, cohesion and combination, yeah. and this is going to have a lack of combination time together. Mm. And you could, you could pick it up in post-match from Trent Barrett's comments in the press conference. He spoke about a lack of patience with the footy in attack. Mm. They tried to score off every play. Out of the words of Josh Jackson, he described mm. the performance as embarrassing. Now, Cole may not be the most skillful halfback in the game, but what he does is he's a, he has a neat kick and he can, he can help build pressure. Yeah, that ultimately, the, I think he's the best fit for Burton. It's just the timing of it. Yeah. Like, exactly. He, he's that, a game manager. The issue. He's a the game issue manager. Is not that he hasn't got the skills <coughs> yes, to, exactly. to make a fist of yep. it. It's that he hasn't been given the opportunity to present at his best because he hasn't trained with them yeah. for the best part of a year now. Well, apparently he hasn't trained with the first row team in their squad since last year. Mm. So Mid last year. Mid last year or mid to late last year. So it's a, it's a crazy decision. Anyway, let's move on.